I'm feeling a little stressed today. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to talk a little bit more about the JG Maker. So, uh, got some really good response to both the unboxing uh, and the assembly videos I put out. And a lot of folks wanted to know how this guy does. So, one of the things that I'm doing, uh, actually it's printing uh, a Design for Design Talk episode. So, I don't want to get into what exactly this is, because I'll cover that in the Design Talk episode. However, one of the reasons I'm running it on this machine is I'm really attempting to stress this machine out because what this has to do is print a zillion little about two millimeter by two millimeter cubes here on this, um, basically this square. And to do this, it has to all be pretty tight. So uh, this is the one thing I wanted to see with this guy because the, the JG Maker is supposed to be a, a precision printer. And for $199, I got to tell you guys, I'm real happy. I've done a good number of prints on this. Um, one of the things I like about it, it just goes because I've been getting a lot of questions. You know, how is the precision? How is the performance? So I've probably done at least 20, 30 prints on this easy since since assembling it. Um, this is probably one of the most difficult prints, or the most difficult prints from a tolerance standpoint. I created this in OpenSCAD and basically split this cube a, a zillion ways and, and again I'll explain this in a design talk episode but one of the things I'm really impressed at the quality of, that this is doing because you can see it making as it's going through here making um, each one of these little squares so here I've pulled in on it with an optical zoom so you can really start to see the squares you can start seeing the motion of the head here uh, creating the squares so I'm using PLA for this and I'm super happy with the way that this is going so far. I'm using about 20% infill. I sliced this in Cura. The tolerances on this guy, again for a $200 printer, uh, seem to be super good. And like, you know, I've had very good luck with, with the JG uh, Aurora, you know, family of products. I've got the A5. It's sitting over there. I use that quite a bit. Um, this little guy is doing just as well too so I really kind of this has become my low-end go-to printer for printing out prototypes uh, because usually what I have is I've been using the tarantula or the zone star like that to really print out um, my prototypes and then I use the Alpha Ys or the CR10 or the Tron XE to kind of do the more production runs the bigger things and that kind of stuff so anyways I had a lot of requests how does this work so far, so good. I get my thumb in there because I'm zoomed in. So if you're interested in getting into 3D printing or you want an extra kind of smaller printer, I mean, this is 220 by 220, so it's not bad size. It's not like the amount of price mini. I, you know, I highly recommend this. I'll have a link for this down below. And if you get any questions, hit me up in the comments. Love to hear from you. And again, bell button's going to be over there. I think over there. Make sure you hit that bell button. What? You're not a subscriber? I put out regular content. What's up? Hit that subscribe button for me. Check out the playlist. A lot of material up there. I I'm, 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 think I'm up to around 800 videos now on this channel alone. So a lot of content. And uh, Swag Shop's up there. And hey, we'll catch you guys in the next video where hopefully we're talking about what the heck this is. Because I'm pretty impressed with it. Cheers and see you in the next video. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.